Yo guys, fun video. We are gonna do a video on the foods we eat every single day and they vary, Matt to Mega. So we're gonna show you our like personal favorites. And comment below with the foods that you eat every single day, no exception. Probably for like the past month, I wanna say, cause yeah. I do things every single day for a duration and then I change. So I for the past month, these are foods I've been eating every day. Same with you? Same with me. Oh, we're in the fridge right now because a lot of mine are in the fridge. Number one, hard boiled eggs. And yeah, I don't know if everyone pre-peels them, but we do. It's like an easy grab and go, like if we're out the door. But hard boiled eggs, I have like three every single day. I make egg salad. 80-20 ground beef. This is a definite. Usually during my dinner, I'll make like a hamburger patty or I'll do a scramble of this with a green vegetable. So I like to do zucchini. I'll use this for a dipping chip for my egg salad. And then the spinach will go in my ground beef dinner scramble. If we made a frittata, we always have spinach in it. Spinach is my go-to. Kimchi, probably very unexpected, but Matt and I have been having this every single day for more than the past month. I would say like three months even. It's delicious. And we've started incorporating fermented foods for better digestion. I have a really bad like, general digestion. I don't fully digest things. So I think having fermented foods has really helped with that. So I have this every single day right before my dinner. Not necessarily Primal Kitchen products, but mayo or a dressing. And both of these add fat. So this will go in my egg salad. This sometimes I'll do in like cooked mushrooms and spinach to make like a creamy vegetable stir fry. And what I like about these is the ingredients. They're both made with avocado oil. So when I'm looking for these kinds of dressings or condiments, I always make sure there's no sunflower oil, no canola oil, no soybean oil. Goat cheese. So I like to incorporate cheeses into like a snack plate or into my dinner. So I've been doing goat cheese or sheep smoke as of late. I like to find them raw if possible, but if not, I'll just go for this goat cheese and I'll crumble it on top of something. Super delicious, creamy. Another thing I have every single day, I usually start my mornings off with two of these, is a Bulletproof coffee. And I know Matt and I make ours very differently, but a must have in all of them is some sort of MCT. So uh, depending on the morning, I either go with the MCT oil or I'll go with the powder. This is the chocolate flavored one, which is my favorite, but we also have the plain one. So I'll just switch around with uh, all of those different MCTs. And then I also sometimes add heavy cream. Coconut oil is really delicious, but it does give that coconut oil flavor. Perfect keto. The coupon code for these 20% off is Keto Connect. I'll be honest, this isn't something I have every single day, but I have it like three or four times a week. This uncured chorizo is the best chorizo you'll ever eat. You should try to look for it. This is the brand. Pause the video and screenshot it. Uh, but the macros on this are 12 fat, seven protein, zero carb. So we're starting with Bulletproof coffees. I have two of them every single morning. I do this, one tablespoon of ghee and one tablespoon of MCT oil. Ghee is just clarified butter, so I also use butter sometimes. But yeah, I do two Bulletproof coffees every morning with one tablespoon of each of these in each. So that's almost 500 calories of fat just in my coffees in the morning. Fridge time. So I eat eggs like every single day, lots of them. For the past year, I feel like I'm averaging 3.6 eggs per day. So yeah, we got hard boiled eggs in here. I usually have this in part of my lunch snack type of meal, smaller meal I have for lunch. Surprisingly, collard greens. I've been having these almost every single night for the past month. Reason being is I'm moving more towards only doing cooked vegetables. I don't like doing raw salads anymore. It really like gets to my stomach a little bit. Plus it soaks up all the fat of the meat that I'm cooking that night. Collard greens are really good. So we got steaks here. I eat red meat every single night. Rare exceptions, maybe I'll do like salmon or something, but it's pretty much exclusively red meat at night. I just like that, it makes me feel the best. So I usually do steaks, ribeyes, or New York strip steaks. We get them in bulk at Costco, where it's only like five or six dollars a pound. So you think if you eat eight ounces, that's like three bucks for dinner. This is random, but in the past month, I've just like fallen in love with rosemary, so I literally put it on everything. Top, second drawer. Oh, there's this one too. We, we've gotten a bunch of different kinds of kimchi just to taste and experiment with. It's a good way to get in some probiotics and just like a spicy flavor. So for the kimchi, you're usually looking at about one to three carbs per serving. 
Butter is definitely something I have daily. Um, probably like average two to three tablespoons a day just added to meals. If I don't do butter, sometimes I get like duck fat or something like that. So basically just added fats to dinner. Then we have fat bombs. We're actually running kind of low, but I do like myself something sweet after dinner. I have at least a fat bomb every single day. We make a bunch of different ones. We got these, these are like oatmeal cookie. We're gonna make a fat bomb cookbook at some point. It's just, we got a lot of work to do. What's something Miley eats every day? Oh. This, it's her favorite. And check out the flavor. Just like her mama. Maple. Where does it say maple? Oh. Just like her mama. Look at the whole family's here. There it is. Get, get it, Miley. Get it. She loves it. The maple sisters over here. Sisters? We're mother and daughter. I guess that's a good band name. I love oh. Julia's just watching from a distance. <laughs> All right guys, that was all of our- Foods we eat every day. Those aren't the only foods though, obviously. We eat a lot more different things, but those are things we always have in the house, yeah. no matter what. As soon as there's like two hard boiled eggs left, we know to make more. Mm -hmm. And that kind of helps us stay accountable because we know that the meals we're making are just the same ones. We know the macros and we don't have to track everything. So find some foods that you eat every day and make them delicious, make them high fat, and let us know what they are below. Comment below with the foods that you eat every single day. Peace.